seats at different stages of life, and that includes the car seat. That's right, the car seat. A car seat isn't one size fits all. You have to have the right seat based on your child's age, weight, and height. See, car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. But there's a website that gives you all the information you need. safercar.gov slash the right seat. You'll find out about types of seats, when to have a seat rear-facing, when to switch it to forward-facing, when it's time for a booster seat, and when it's time for your child to ride in the back seat with a seat belt. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Hi, this is Cedric the Entertainer. More than 29 million Americans have diabetes. For one in five of them, it causes burning, shooting pain in the feet or hands, a condition called painful diabetic peripheral neuropathy or diabetic nerve pain. My dad has diabetic nerve pain. I knew something was wrong when he limited the things he loved to do, like gardening, long drives, and visiting our family. If you have diabetes and burning, shooting pain in your feet or hands, step on up. Have a real conversation with your doctor and take a step towards some pain relief. Visit stepponup.com. Talk 1470 is WWNN Pompano Beach and 95.3 FM W237BD Boca Raton. The Health and Wealth Radio Network. Staying healthy is difficult. What nutritional supplements should you take? What foods are best for you? What health practitioner should you see? You've got health questions, I've got health answers. From heartburn to hemorrhoids, pain to pimples, carpal tunnel to the common cold, gluten to gallbladder, and gingivitis, and all points in between. I'm Dr. Bob Martin. Tune in to my Sunday talk show at 10 o'clock on Talk 1470 WNN. Go to your app store and download the WNN app on your Android or iPhone and never miss a Talk 1470 Minute. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. It's Live with Antonio and Molly. Where we get candid about our lives and break down the latest in entertainment news. Just the truth, no filter. Hey everyone, it's Live with Antonio and Molly. I'm Antonio. And I'm Molly. We have a special guest in the studio today, Mystic Michaela, Hi. our good friend. We're super excited to have you, Michaela. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, you guys. I'm so excited to be here. We literally have been waiting the days, waiting for days for yes. you to come. We've been so excited. Weeks, months. Weeks, months to have you on air. You were like our number one guest that we wanted oh, to yeah. have. Um, so you offer something so different and you're a v- very dynamic person. Oh, thank you. So we want to have you on. Oh my gosh, it's my privilege to be here. I just love you guys. I love your energy. I've been watching since you started. And I just, I'm like obsessed with the show. So thank you thank so much. You. I'm a fan. Thank you. <laughs> thank so you. We're fan. a fan of you. Woo. Huge fan. You have been on a lot of shows lately. Can been. you tell us a little about what you've been on? Sure. I was on like Real Housewives of Orange County. Um, the last season, I was at this crazy dinner. So I was on there because I'm Megan Edmonds' friend. And ever since then, like, a lot of doors have been opening. Um, just recently, I'm, I was on the Pickler and Ben show. So Amazing. I've been doing a lot of cool different things. Um, and I was at the event in Boca with Siggy and Dolores. That was so much fun. I got so to read fun. them on stage, so fun. which so was much fun. so, like, meeting Siggy was like, oh, my God. She's so, so over funny. the top. I loved it. And That's Dolores, so funny. of course. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. They're really cool people to be around. I love Housewives. They're so much fun. <laughs> 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 Who else have you read besides... Housewives, because I know personally yeah. you've told me that you've read some pretty big people. Yeah, but who else besides? Yeah, or can you share? Yeah, can you share? Like, yeah, I always go blank when like people ask me this question, like because I always remember like my tre- like my housewife ladies, and then like like Teresa Judice I've read. Okay, and, and like, what did you hear about her? Because there's <laughs> oh a lot God. going on with her. Yeah, there's a lot going on with her, right? Like, yeah. well, I read her like right before her mom died, so which is kind of sad. So it was about the mom a lot, but ever since then. I mean, but I think she's going to stay with Juicy Joe. Like, I really do. Oh, I really do. I interesting. Because yeah, there's a lot of debate about that. I yeah. Know. There's a whole bunch of things going she's on in the tabloids. She's old school, man, though. I don't know. Absolutely. No. She's old Can't school. wait we'll to uh, see what happens yeah, with we'll that. Yeah, see what happens with that. Who else have you read in Hollywood? 
I've, oh, Jenny McCarthy. Oh, and Donnie, I love her. Right. That's so she's cool. So fun. Yeah, she's so great. And she's um, yellow and purple. Like, because I see auras around people. Yes, so, like, you do. everybody has, like, an energy field around them. I see it in colors. That's the aura. So, I read Jenny McCarthy and I read Donnie Wahlberg, which was just, I mean, he was probably the nicest person I think I've ever read really? in my entire life. Really? Like, what about me and Molly? We're well, not the nice oh, people. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go right back to <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, us. <laughs> break it gently. Break it gently. Yeah, <laughs> There's, they're like married and they're nice. So it's yeah. like weird, you know. So like it was just like it was such like a pairing of them. I can't even see them having like a fight or anything. Oh, uh, but you know they seem like a really great, yeah, like they, authentic couple, like a fun supportive. couple. Yes. Like let's go on a road trip tomorrow. Yeah, I was a little scared to meet her too because you know she got that saucy vibe or that. But I, th- and I feel is like when I met her, like she only reserves that for people who have like an attitude or something like that. Okay. And. Like, I don't, so... Right. You know, I have, like, zero egos like, on yeah. the floor. But, like, so she was, like, very nice to me, but I was a little nervous about it, but she was great. She was awesome. That's I so cool. Her. Mm-hmm. You're, like, touring around the country. <laughs> I try. Doing it. I try to get around a little bit. That's so cool. That's such a fun <laughs> life. So what exactly are you because there's yeah. so many names and stuff right. and tell everyone who you are so i'm a psychic medium but i specialize in reading or, reading auras which is the uh, special energetic life force around people and there's five main aura colors and they each have characteristics um and you have inherent colors that are you and i try to help people lead authentic lives by telling them what their aura color is and how to get kind of like their life in line with that because you have to accept who you are you can't be what you're not so that's the aura thing. But yeah, I do do predictions, you know, for the future. But the future is like a funny thing because it's very like free will connected. Mm-hmm, sure. So and then um, I also do mediumship. Privately, I'll do mediumship. Like, you know, people who've passed loved ones on the other side and I'll connect with them for loved ones and whatnot. So I do kind of everything, but I like the aura stuff. That's sure. like my favorite. So when you look at Antonio, yes. what aura oh did God. you see what around you Antonio? See? I'm fascinated to hear this. Well, Ant- <laughs> you know, it's, it, you know, because he's in this, field he's like kind of made for it because well you have an indigo aura so i've been told yeah right <laughs> i should have a radio show oh you really should i know oh, live with antonio Mali, so. <laughs> <It's happening. laughs> because well ind- oh, so indigo is not one of the five main colors it's okay. like an off aura color so it means like you're emotionally of course psychic. i'm off you're different <laughs> she said it not me she said it not me you're a little different all right it's okay but you absorb into like the rea- like other people's realities to kind of understand what they need or want from something yeah but at this age it's amazing that you can do this because you're separating your own voice from that yeah and you're absorbing into your own reality and trying to make that happen which i feel like is happening for you i think it's happening absolutely but I've that's why you've got such awesome producer vibrations yeah. like that's what you do you know like yeah. you can kind of and then you have purple and the purple is like the creative artistic yes. you know like you don't mind the attention you don't mind the spotlight you can handle it no, doesn't I don't li- mind i don't the like attention the attention <laughs> i don't like attention whatsoever <laughs> you're not like a wallflower but it's good that you like a lot of indigos like become like wallflowers because they can't handle really? it really yeah. No, I think I could handle it. You got it. I no, you got that. You could like throw anything at me, and I could like duck, weave, and dodge it. Yeah, you're if good. I would need you're to. good. You have a good balance. Thanks. Of it. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what makes you work. But it's rare for an indigo person to want to do this. But I think it's because you have enough of the purple that you're very balanced. So like, if you want, yeah. to, but you can separate it too. Like no, you don't, totally. Yeah. You There's times where like sometimes I can honestly be shy around people. Right. Like in yeah. ways where like I just don't like I don't know you that well, so I won't talk. Sure. I as right. much. Too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you're not you're very easily can like sense a vibration from somebody too. Absolutely. Like if they're even worth knowing or yeah. like if they're worth like sharing with or opening up mm-hmm. to because that's like a big thing for you. Yeah. To kind of open up to people. Yeah. So like you're very open Absolutely. and like you're but only with people who you know can ha- like can treat you nicely yeah, because yeah. of it. Absolutely. But that's like you like all your work with dogs and animals and yeah. things like that. Like indigo people like not just love animals, like their heart bleeds for that. Yeah, like, no, I like, love yes. working with animals. And it's always going to be like a platform for you. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's something that I want to keep with me forever. Oh, I will. So what about Molly? I want to know about Molly. Yeah, There's so- a few questions I have about Molly, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, Molly. First, just with the aura color. Right. The aura. Look, today, Molly, see, I've read Molly before. Molly's like yellow with like a turquoise color. Well, she's blonde. Wait, yeah, that's true. You Don't say yellow. Yellow is blonde. Is that like a special hue? Like, is there a for that? It's a pretty blonde color. But she's got a yellow aura, so it's like 
she's so organized. You know, she's got a million things going on, but she'll never look like she does. Like, <laughs> like you can somehow. Sometimes I see it though. She'll she'll crash on me. You're I'm like everything's psychic. fine. Everything's, everything's fine. just fine. Finds like your word. Like, yes. like I'm fine. And like you'll just people will pile it on you because they're like, oh Molly can do it, and then you do it. Yeah. And so that's like totally yellow because like you'll never. You're perfectionistic. You're not gonna let. Your projects are your babies. Like, you're never going to let them drop. That's so true about Molly. Yeah. Yeah. But then she's also turquoise, which is, we named it Tiffany. Yeah, (laughs) Tiffany Blue. (laughs) It's her own signature color. Of course. Shocking. Of course. (laughs) Which is a super rare color. That's just her empathic heart. Did you hear that? I'm rare. Uh, I was rare, rare. too. Don't worry, Molly. (laughs) I never see, I see indigo more than I see turquoise, like, what Tiffany Blue. Yeah. Like, though. Because that's, like, usually, like, in my world, like, Reiki healers and stuff have that. Like, so you're very... So I'm a healer. You're super healing. Healing? What are you yeah. healing? She heals projects and things. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, heals. she does pretty well. She's good. Well, with my friend, I, a lot of friends yeah. come to me sure. for, for advice and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm really bad at giving advice to myself. Sure. But very good at giving it to other Everyone people. says, it, like, your life's so perfect. Like, oh, my God. Like, I'll give you... And it's like, no. It's like, there's so many things going on. Of course. Because, like, you don't want to, like, offend other people with your emotions. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but then, so is, <laughs> is yellow and Tiffany blue, is that... So that's not a common... That's not super common. Okay. But it makes sense for you. Okay. Because, like, well, you you said you were a teacher a long time yes. ago and stuff. So, you know, yes. I used you, to teach kindergarten. Multiple jobs. <laughs> yeah. Multiple hats. Yeah. But, you know, it's just like you see some, you you have concern and care for a project or a person. And yes. then you go into your organization brain to like, okay, let me, let me just make this life better for you. But you have your own way of doing it. Right. So that's how you, you operate. So, sure. you know, it makes you like an efficient person and stuff like that. It can also get in the way of sometimes like, con- like what you said, like connecting with yourself. So right. You're, so you're not really cool with people being like, how are you doing, Molly? Yes. Let's talk about you. Yes. You no. kind of I'm not doing when people ask me questions, No, right? I'll ask her things, like even like friend to friend, and then she'll like freeze up and be like, uh, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but I actually have a question. Yes. So Molly has a little love. Oh my God. Oh, no, not a love. Not, not, a, not love. a love. Like <laughs> a friend. Oh like a friend. Okay. And I'm not really sure where it's going. Okay. And I want to know, and all our viewers want to know yes. it's i know you've watched the show you don't know who it is i don't know i was like dying but yeah and we know. couldn't tell you <laughs> right um accidentally slipped up but it's okay <laughs> but we're gonna show you a picture okay. Okay. but i'm gonna make it that nobody person. else can see that show show right? camera <laughs> oh my gosh is this recent yeah yes. i know who this is this is crazy <laughs> This is like so crazy. Friendship, yes. Okay, this is a crazy friendship. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> all right. I'm watching to make sure. It doesn't <laughs> okay. Wait, face it towards the camera. No. Do you have any people would love you for that? <laughs> you will get booked for months in advance, years. Here's what I get with him. He is green and purple, which is not my super fave combo in people. Just because he's got this chameleon thing going on, mm-hmm. so it's like Absolutely. he can be who you want him to be in the moment. Now, he really thinks he is that person, when he, but he then he can go talk to somebody else and be that person, too. Mm. I feel like he wants, he's very concerned with, like, appearances and that, like, he knows how things have to look for him, and he does want a partner. So I feel like he's actively seeking, like, a partner. Well, Molly's his type. Oh, totally. Because, <laughs> like, he does need somebody who's independent, but he needs too much of, like, I think a giver or something who would just like absorb their life into his. And I don't feel like that's Molly. No. No. You know, Molly's always going to be independent, got her own things going on, but he kind of needs somebody to like adore or like really like put him on a pedestal. Like a puppy. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Molly has two dogs already. She doesn't need another one. And he does love dogs. Yeah. Yeah. So So, that's nice. No, he feels like a really, he's a nice, I feel like he's a good person. I I actually feel bad for him because I really feel like he wants substance in life. Well, if you read the tabloids. But, about him. That's what it says. Oh, really? That okay. there's certain things that have been written about him. Well, the the green and purple, for me, like, when I see that in a guy, and, like, it's my friend who wants to, like, date him, or I'm like, eh. Like, I don't know. What there get, we just, go. So should Molly continue this friendship or no? I mean, I I never like to naysay something. Right. But if it was me, let's say it was me, right? I'd be like, no. Like, you know, but, like, there I There's your go. answer, Molly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> have you talked to him recently? No, not in the past week. In a week. Who was the last one to text? He was. Oh, so you just I'm very him? busy. Very, very, very busy. busy. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of things going on. But, you know, green and purple people like that, like, they, they're they busy, too. Yeah. Like, he's probably really busy, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's probably I got he's a lot busy. going on. But he's, like, very concerned with how things look on the outside to him. Like, he wants to make sure. And I feel like he'd be attracted to you because you're in a way like that because you can 
organized life to look a certain way, but you're all about like it has to feel right. Right. But he sure. doesn't know he's not always emotion connected. Right. So it doesn't always have to feel right. He's gotta look right. He sometimes he'll he'll miss the boat on that one. Yes. Because that makes he'll be sense. like, wait like he'll be like, something's not right here and he'll it's like talking to somebody in a whole different language. Like what do you he doesn't pick up on emotion okay. the way most people do. Interesting. So, Absolutely. I think it's honestly like from what I know and like things I true it's spot on. Yeah. I don't know I think much so. about him at all except <laughs> we'll talk after I mean, the show yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, he's, that's huge yeah yeah wow that's interesting yeah so back Isn't to antonio okay <laughs> that's a total what questions mystery. do you have about um, what do you want you to know, know about? something that I really, um, I'm always, I want to know the future all the time. You all know, right. I want stuff to happen. I even text you randomly. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> I blow up Michaela's phone. And I'm like, hey, so like this happened in my life. Like what's going to happen? Like right. from here, 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 right, here. Right. And you've been spot on. You told me that I was going to be working with Molly. Yeah. In a way, which now is that totally is so weird. crazy. Yeah. Because we so barely weird. even knew each other. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't like her. Yeah. Oh, really? Did, he didn't what? like me at first. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like when I... It's, well, it was so weird, too, because, like, I think the first time I met you, I got such a weird feeling. See? She gives about... us a weird vibe. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> like, that you felt famous, but not yet. And I... It was, but you are, that you know what I mean? to me. I thought that would like, to me. Like, famous in the, me, in, the, in the... How do I put it? Like, where everybody, like, a household name, like, that kind of thing. Like, mm-hmm. the first time I went to your friend's house and everything. I don't know what I'm allowed to say or whatever. But, like, and I always felt that... And then with you, when I met you... I was like, oh my God, like everything always felt too small for you. But sometimes like with future, I'll get like the present moment. It feels like it already happened or something feels Mm -hmm. off or you're not in the right spot. Because I know that the future is going to reflect something totally different. Yeah. Well, you did mention the music industry. Yeah. That that was going to be something in my life and I'm going to meet someone or do something. And I actually, within the first like two weeks, I met someone within the music industry. Oh my gosh. And then now I have a radio show. So I don't know if like that like, <laughs> correlates to each other. Well, and you're with Molly Muffin. He's exactly. going to be the fourth member of Danger Muffin. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick break, everyone. And when we come back, we'll talk more with Mystic Michaela. Yay. You're listening to Live, which is brought to you by Helen Brown Media, a luxury PR agency that promotes luxury brands and businesses, including everything from logo design to managing social media and putting on large events. To get your luxury brand the best exposure, head on over to hillenbrandmedia.com or you can follow on Instagram and Facebook at the at sign Helen Brand Media. Now, let's get back to the show. You've been listening to Live with Antonio and Molly. We're back, dishing the latest on our lives and entertainment news. It is. She knows what I'm talking about. Hey, everyone. We're back <laughs> live with Antonio and Molly. And we're here today with Mystic Michaela, celebrity aura and psychic medium. So, I need more information okay. from you. Yes. Where do you see Live with Antonio and Molly going? Oh, we really want to know. <laughs> So it's it's like a short like I don't have I'm gonna use all the wrong vocabulary. It's okay. It's like it's, it's like a short show, right? Like it's for a limited amount of time. Yes, because we're going on hiatus for the summer. Okay, but I see it picking back up. Like I don't really? see you guys stopping this. I something with the studio. This studio? Yeah, I feel like it's not. You take it to a different one. I don't know how that would work. But okay. I don't see you guys staying here. Okay. And I guess something with more. I see different media around it now. I see like different cameras. I see like different lighting. I see different equipment. Lighting's stuff always like good. That. We need good lighting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like just the production getting bigger. That's okay. what I get. Oh. Like whatever it is. Do you I see it soon getting... or like five years from now? Like, no, I need to know like timelines. Oh you know, I'm, I'm not like getting a... any younger. I, than I, I like you, literally. <laughs> Neither am I. It feels soon, <laughs> and I get like the other thing I get. Is that, what was I going to say? Oh, is this production? Uh, all right. I get, yeah, so the production getting bigger on it. Okay. Oh, traveling. I get like different locations. That's what I, see, I've been saying that. I yeah. know you watched the show. Hopefully right. you watch the show. I do. Um, <laughs> I said the Bahamas. Oh, We yeah, should do it in the Bahamas. Right. Like go like do segments on the road. Yeah. I get like just, yeah, all over the place. I get different. It's good, but you'll I'm have the money and I get it paid, like whatever that is. That's like good. more That's money. That's always a positive. <laughs> like more financial Paychecks stuff. are beneficial. <laughs> Paychecks are more very cash. beneficial. Like I get that, which is good. That's so good. I feel like it's happening. The thing with the future is like the timeline can be long, the timeline can be short because like. Spirit, is it definitely happening now? I feel like it's happening for you. It's just like okay. the thing with it is, is like. Um, spirit doesn't go by on like all right, a month from now. They go like, yeah. did you learn the lesson? Did mm-hmm. you learn the lesson? Did you learn the lesson? And like the lesson can be sometimes something like really 
within or like annoying or whatever. Yeah. So you got to kind of get over it too. Like I'm okay in this present moment. Like that's a mm-hmm. lesson. Like I'm okay. If things were like this, Andy Odie's like, nope. But like if things were like this, <laughs> I'd be okay. Yeah. I'd do something else. I do like that sometimes the lesson and then you get it where you want it anyhow. Yeah. You know, that's, that's kind of what I noticed with, no, with I'm how excited. spirit I, No, I love stuff. work with Molly. I think we have yeah. a great dynamic. Yeah. You have fun. So yeah. And it's fun just... is a vibration that pulls abundance. Absolutely. Yeah. For I think sure. when like you put us together, it's just like a tornado of fun. Oh my God, you guys need to interview. <laughs> it's a tornado. Like I see more celebrities, but really? like like Are we I the texted you this about the other day. I'm like, yes. you need to get like a like a whole event or something. Yes. Like yes. it's it'd be so much fun to see that. Absolutely. Now I have a question. Yeah. Have you always had this gift? Like when you, yes. growing up, did you know that you had this gift? Yeah. So I have a psychic family. Like my mom, my uncle, kind of goes up my mom's side. So I grew up in a psychic family. I'm the only one that can see colors. Although honestly, I didn't really notice that was weird until like I got older. Because it's just like, oh. like how do you explain like smelling something to other people? Like right. I don't know. I smell things. Like you smell. Like yeah. you know you don't. And, and, like, as I look back, I'm, like, I would make assumptions about certain colors based off of, like, my experiences with them. Like, purple people, fun. Red people, scary. You know, like that. And, <laughs> Have and you so, ever met any red people and, like, lied to them and, like, said, like... <laughs> my husband's red. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh. I know, right? That, that's so, that's so that's different. Yeah. But, like... Well, but you actually said yeah. when you read me before that I, I should be you with should a red. Be, yeah, you'd be good with a red. Like, you need more, like, um... Now, it depends. Now, there... It depends how you wear it, too. Mm-hmm. You know, so re- everybody's always goes to red, like, the bad color. But it's, it's not. It's, it's a just, power color. Molly power likes color. to wear red. Molly looks good I do red. like to wear red. Yeah. <laughs> it's a control color. Like, usually people who are red love to be in control. Um, some are scary controlling, and some are, like, okay controlling. Right. Like, some are just protective and a little caveman-y, and it's okay. <laughs> you know, and some are, like, psychotic. You know, so you have to, like, you got to filter so it out. So have to find some happy medium yeah. in there. <laughs> but I feel like you're more attracted to green people. Okay. Because. And green is, remind me what green. Green people are really smart. They have always have their own things going on. They usually work for themselves. Yes. Like, that guy is green, but he's green purple, which makes sense. He's in the artistic realm yes. of the world. Because he's using his intelligence to maneuver that scene. Okay. Usually green people use your intelligence to maneuver like I'm the CEO of a company or I'm an engineer or I have my own business in tech doing something or whatever. Right. So I feel like you're usually and they're usually super duper workaholic y. Yeah. So I feel like for you, you've been attracted to greens because like you it, it, it does a couple things for you. Now we get a little deep. Like it it help, like you said you don't like somebody like all over you like right. emotionally right. like green people will not be all over you emotionally they're right. like you're fine we're fine but then it can kind of create a distance I feel like you're ready for a red guy to be more like like what what is this like why aren't you calling me like why aren't like let's hang out like open up to me I need to okay, so I feel like you're more ready for that. okay she's ready for it she's red people if it. you're out there come apply in, <laughs> apply <laughs> applications apply within <laughs> so another question I have is since you said that it has been in your family forever yeah. Do your children have that power? That's funny. Yeah. So my daughter's nine. My oldest daughter's nine. And my youngest is three. And so my nine-year-old girl, like, she'll come home and be like, oh, my God, someone's so, so yellow. And she's, like, talking about somebody at school or whatever. That's so cool. Yeah. Like, but she'll complain about, like, yellow people because they're like, she's always trying to micromanage me or organize me (laughs) or something. But I'm like, listen, your friend's trying to, you know, make you friends with other friends. You know, I try to explain it to her. That's what yellow people do. Does she know what's, like, going on? or It's like, because she's nine. Like, she'll see a color. She doesn't know what it means. But, like, yeah, colors have their own feelings, too. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, there's different vibes. Like, purple people usually feel fun. Um, like yellow people feel usually I'm like fun. really capable. Yeah, you're fun. Fun. But yeah, you know, yellow people feel like upbeat, pos- like positive, like do she's it. always positive. Yeah. She's like, Antonio, don't worry, don't worry. I'm like, she's no, like, like I need it done now. <laughs> yeah, she's happy, she's a survivor, she's happy, all that. Yeah. Um, and then my littlest one, I mean she's three, so I don't know yet. You don't know, know yet. Yeah. So do you think that they're psychic as well? I think my little one's, like, a healer. She's more okay. like, because she's got, like, a Tiffany blue aura, too. Okay. So, like, she'll, she's, like, very empathic about pain and stuff like that. But my oldest one, she's more, she does see colors. Now, that's where I will take on someone's ailment. Oh, stop it. Like, it, yes. it's interesting that you say that's that about. Yes. yes. Wait, because what? when someone, if I, like, hospitals are very hard for me. I, know, yeah. I will literally walk by someone and I feel, like, their pain. Oh or, like, gosh. if someone's sad or going through something very yeah. emotional, it's very hard for me. Or if someone's, like, not a good person. Yeah. I can sense it. It makes me feel physically sick. Yeah, there's no boundary to that yes. except you're yellow. So, like, it's yeah. hard for you. That's why, like, That's a so lot of cool. Reiki yeah. people are, are that color because they, they channel energy through them and they can like go like oh your knee something with your knee like so they does get everyone drawn have places. a little psychic in them everybody has a connection to spirit when you're authentic to yourself you that's how you connect with spirit 
every single person. I try to tell people like, this is how you're connected. This is, you know, it's different for everybody, but this mm-hmm. is how you're connected. This is how you hear spirit. A lot of people don't understand that they're getting messages and being talked to and stuff like that. They mm-hmm. think it's themselves themselves, or they just, they don't It's really it. interesting. Yeah. So everybody does. Very I think cool. a lot of people have like stories about that too. Yeah. You know, like after Absolutely. somebody passes, they'll get like a sign or a message. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I believe in signs. Oh, I believe in signs yeah. for sure. Yeah. When like, people pass over. Things happen for a reason, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, so another question I have for yeah. you. Sorry, I have a lot of questions, yeah, as I you love know. It. Yeah. Um, where do you see me in the future, like business wise, school wise, since I am still in school, and just yeah. like things in general? It's so like I just don't feel you finishing school, but you would never finish school if you didn't have like an awesome opportunity. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. And I'm okay. sticking with the 2019 timeline because like yeah. I feel like like this year is a big growth year for this you. This has been such a big growth. You know, I've been in this. South Florida for a little bit now, and I've accomplished so much. I met so many people. Oh yeah, you're good networking. So it's just you're awesome. like growing. people genuinely want to help you out. You yeah, because you're genuine back. Absolutely. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to get like some sort of major gig, and it feels like in the media, it feels like a public realm okay, of some cool. sort. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And I just, but you're gonna project hop a lot. Like it'll be your whole I have life. A project, I have a few things that I'm working on oh, now. Awesome. So those aren't announced that's yet. You, but that's your life, yeah. you know. And it's he's your just, life getting started, just getting right? started. Just getting started. Just getting started, Antonio. That's great. Thank you, thank you. I try always try to do other things. That's <laughs> no, good. Keep you got to change busy. it up. Cause that's what, like, you know, for you, like, change is really important. It's important yeah. for you to change. Absolutely. And be challenged that way. What about Molly? Where do you see Molly in the future? Where what? do you see me a year from now? Yeah. Just, let's just say a year. From a year. Now. <laughs> okay. I really feel Molly in a, in a public, more public spotlight, even more than you are now. Um, it's, I mean, it's the latest, like I, sometimes I say something and it's so obvious, but I feel like, cause you're blonde and you're pretty, but I always get like a beauty pageant vibe about you. Like, <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> cause I get like, you're, you're like, yes. Uh, <laughs> that would be funny. Because I get you being iconic. That's funny. You know, like I like there's something about you that I feel people like, what is this? Like what is she wow, doing? What is she you. doing? What is she and and I feel like that's just going to continue for you because you do and they're just telling you this now too. Like I feel like you do I mean, listen, we know you like to dress nice and you, you have a, like a, a you're fashionable and whatnot. But like I feel like you also are good at telling other people that kind of I feel I see people like looking at you and wondering, what's that? What's like a style wearing? icon? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's what I meant. Style icon. Yeah. It's a big role to film I didn't really on. pull that out today. No. <laughs> I see you being like where people are wondering about you. Oh. Like what's she doing? That hmm. kind of thing. Kind of like people look at you and wonder about your life. Okay. But like it feels big. So I feel the good like in a year from now that's and I feel like this this would be harder for you to pull off at that time. Okay, like, gotcha. You know, unless it's in a bigger produced type atmosphere. Gotcha. Which you would totally like organize. <laughs> like you'd be like, oh, that's no problem. I can do, I'll make it happen. Do, do this, but bigger? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's my like, What's one more project? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one more to add to the plate. Well, stay tuned. Yeah. Well, you do a lot of projects, right? Yeah, you do yes. feel very busy. But uh, like, I don't know. You're the type of person like when you sit down, you're like, I should be doing this. I should be doing that. It's I very just... hard for me, but it's, that's true with a lot of people. It's very hard yeah. for me to sit still. Yeah. Because then I feel like I should be doing something and then I that's feel guilty. Me. All that the I'm time. not doing. Always doing something. Oh that's true with any mom, too. Oh, that's I mean, other things. Yeah, forget about true. the work stuff, just as a mom. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Right? That, that is it's true. like you don't have time to sit down. You have to no. be doing folding, cleaning, yeah, the homework. <laughs> homework. There's always something cooking, learning, so many things, loving, teaching, <laughs> <laughs> all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Mothers. That's so funny. What other questions do you have for? I know your oh, daughter had a question. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So my daughter wants to know oh. about her gymnastics, her oh, future my gosh. in gymnastics. That's so Yes. Do you have a picture of her? I do. Let um, me, you guys talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, I love, I love reading people's <laughs> children's. Um, let me find a Because like one. kids all, you know, you can, it doesn't matter how many kids you have. They're all going to be different. Yeah. Like energetically. Oh, now okay, what's her so name again? Sophie. Oh, so cute. Okay. So with Sophie, she feels very, she's good. I got, let me okay. see your other one real quick. Yeah. Okay. All right. So with, and what's your other one's name? Carolyn. Carolyn feels like very much like you in a mm-hmm. lot of ways, like very like driven you know and like we'll work until it's done and very like and so I feel like for Sophie sometimes as a little or sister it can, she feels more sensitive to me like a little sure. more absorbent but I feel like with her and she's gonna do amazing 
Because I feel like people really love her. Yeah. And they want her to be part of the team and the atmosphere. And I feel like she's really encouraging to the other kids around her. She feels like just a little sweetie. Like, she has. I love her energy. <laughs> I'm biased, but she has. No, but she really does. <laughs> like, where um, Carolyn, to me, feels like she, you know, it takes her a while to warm up to people. Yeah. I feel like, with Sophie, it's like, oh, no. Immediate. <laughs> yeah. She feels like a doll. Yeah, she could do so good. Good. Awesome. I will let her know. Yeah. She'll Although she's watching. watching. Yes. She's oh, watching. Good. She's oh. watching. She's, she's going to do amazing. They are. <laughs> so that is all the time we have for tonight. Oh my gosh! That but thank you so much thank for coming, so much for Mikhail. We had so much fun. We have to talk after this because yes. there's more. <laughs> we have to get into detail about. But uh, tune in next week on 1470 AM, 95 point three FM, and our live with Antonio and Molly Facebook page. Thanks, guys. Thank you. listening to Live with Antonio and Molly. Tune in next week on 95.3 FM, 1470 AM. And our Live with Antonio and Molly Facebook page. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, 